I am Michelle McPherson, and this is The Michelle McPherson Show, the only internet marketing podcast dedicated to answering your burning business questions. Find us and submit your own questions at fromideatoempire.com. And now for today's episode. Hey, Michelle, my question's about keyword research on YouTube. Is it the same as doing keyword research on Google when you're writing articles? Or are the keywords different and do they have different traffic levels? Uh, I'm interested in understanding where you go to find specific keywords on YouTube that you want to target um, and what you're using right now. Thanks. Hey, thanks, Ryan. Good question. Love it. And it'll help out everybody listening quite a bit. So um, first thing, Google AdWords keyword tool. We all know about that. Um, That gives you Google search volume. Is the search volume on YouTube different? Yes, obviously, but it is the second largest search engine in the world, so it has the second largest number of queries per day. So you will find that there will be some similarities between what the Google AdWords keyword tool will tell you or tools that use it, like Market Samurai, um, and then what actually happens on YouTube. However, because YouTube is a visual medium, people do search for different things or they phrase things differently right, than they would if they were looking for textual information. And so there are a couple of ways that you can get very specific information about what people are looking for on YouTube. The first one of those is the uh, analytics that YouTube includes in your own videos. And what I found with that, and this goes for your regular blog posts and things too, is that when you set up a blog post or a video, and you know you're attempting to have it rank for a certain key phrase you do your keyword research you optimize it maybe you even do a little bit of link building or that kind of thing and when you go and you look at your analytics which they have in youtube now or if we're talking about a blog post you can do it with your google analytics and you see what are the key phrases that are actually sending traffic to that post and that can often give you a really great jumping off point for key phrases that you may not have thought of but that Google clearly, or YouTube, clearly thinks that your post or your video is relevant for and is already sending you traffic on. And then you can optimize that blog post, that video for those key phrases that you hadn't thought before, but that are receiving some small measure of traffic. When you do that, you'll often find that you'll get quite a bit more traffic. If Google or YouTube thought that your piece was relevant for a certain key phrase that you weren't optimized for, and then you do actually optimize for it, you'll oftentimes see that it's quite easy for you to make a big jump in those rankings and therefore get a lot more traffic. So that's one way. Another way that uh, is super simple for you to use is the YouTube Suggest tool. So if you're doing a video on, say, running shoes, and you type in running shoes into YouTube, and then you'll see the suggest box pop up with a whole bunch of ideas of what the longer tail key phrases might be that you're looking for, uh, that you could be looking for with that key phrase. And so that's a really basic way for you to get some of the highest tier keyword data that is the most popular um, and most used. It won't work for every key phrase. It won't work if you're already looking at a very long key phrase, uh, long tail kind of key phrase, but if you're looking for something, uh, a general broad market key phrase, you'll be able to get some really great ideas from YouTube Suggest, and then you can dig down in there. It's also helpful sometimes when you're looking at those videos that come up for YouTube Suggest to look at their titles and look at their descriptions and see variations on that key phrase that they might be using to rank for. The final one, the best one, is the actual YouTube keyword tool. Now, it is not as fully functioned as the Google AdWords keyword tool. The difference being, of course, that this is very specific to YouTube searches. So it will be highly relevant to YouTube search queries, not Google search queries. So if you're looking for very YouTube specific information, this is the place to go. And it's at youtube.com forward slash keyword underscore tool forward slash, and I'll have that in the show notes for you as well. Now, you can't sort by the volume and you cannot select nearly as many options as you can with the Google keyword tool. But given that the information in that is very specific to YouTube, it is a huge helper and it's one that not many people know about. So I hope that those ideas get you started with your YouTube keyword research. It ought to give you some definite 
jumping off point. So thanks for your question, Ryan. And everybody listening, head on over to FromIdeaToEmpire.com to submit your own questions. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.